It is Fresh Crack Friday, and we got bottles to pop. I have been very excited to open this one. This is the 2024 release of Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. I've previously done reviews of Toasted Barrel, Barrel Strength Rye, Barrel Strength Bourbon, but never the Barrel Strength Rye. Time to correct that. Let's get this bottle open. Ooh. And of course, we must have the right glassware for the job. On with the nose. Huh. Very approachable for barrel strength rye. There's almost zero heat to this. Okay, now those lemon hard candies are jumping out of the glass at me. Buttercream frosting. This is just a hot take, so let's have a sip. Oh, wow. This was, this is not at all what I was expecting. So I'm actually just getting back from a trip to Michter Shively, where Dan McKee and Catherine Onan showed me around. We actually thieved some barrel strength rye right out of a barrel while I was there. They also showed me their filtering process, where Catherine was telling me about how they push their whiskey through a stack of mesh filters. Really, really cool process. I also got to taste the before and after of that process. And in a blind tasting, I can confirm that I liked the post-filtration whiskey better. It stripped out some of those tannins, those youthful, younger oak characteristics, and just left a beautifully flavorful whiskey. So thank you to the Mictors team for that little snippet of information. Will it make me appreciate this bottling more? Not necessarily. I still go into every whiskey with a sense of duty and a purpose to uphold honesty in all my whiskey reviews. So as amazing as that experience was and the people that I got to share that with are equally amazing, I still am going to evaluate this whiskey with my same standardized, honest approach of reviewing whiskey. And I got to say, <laughs> I'm liking what I'm finding so far. Okay, back to the nose. Everything here is so well integrated, delicate. It's distinctly sweet, maybe slightly atypical of rye, but a very cherry skin forward profile. The 2024 release is definitely going to be your bourbon drinkers rye. And back to the palate. This just whispers sweet nothings onto your taste buds. On the back end, there's a hint of licorice. Okay, now we're getting a little more zesty. I get some expressed orange peel, some light Earl Grey tea notes. It's very sweet, but not to the point of being cloying. This one definitely makes me think. It uh, gives me pause. It's not something I feel that I could rush through. It really is urging me to take my time, be patient with it, which is my standard process for my written reviews. This is tasting number one. I will do at least three tastings before I offer my full written review that you might see on my website, amongstthewhiskey.com. I would urge you to subscribe over there so you can catch all of my more thorough reviews. Those scores are the type of scores that I really am putting my name behind. I stand by all the statements that I make on that website. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think video format reviews are the right way to review whiskey. I find myself being less honest in front of the camera. And I would argue that most people are probably susceptible to that as well. So I don't put a lot of credence in fast paced live reviews in front of a camera. I think it artificially inflates people's experiences, but unfortunately I think less and less people are reading these days. So I understand that I need to make videos, but I would prefer you to read my writing. If I had my way, I would have you exit out this YouTube video right now and go over to my website and spend some time reading because I spent a lot of time putting together those words. 
I think they're a lot more eloquent than what I'm regurgitating to you right now. So if you're interested in a more detailed whiskey nerd oriented write-up, head on over to amongstthewhiskey.com and you will find all the whiskey content your heart desires. Now, on to the finish for Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. Oh yeah, decadent sweetness once again. Skittles, Starburst. I mean, I'm just getting all of those sweet candy flavors. Once again, it is so balanced. But the finish is not short. The finish is oily, rolling, coating. It's rising through me, but not in a overly proofy way. I'd be surprised if you told me that this had any alcohol in it whatsoever. It just drinks so silky and the delivery is just so ephemeral and it feels as if I'm being floated through a cloud of rye or I'm floating above a field of rye. It is magnificent. Late in the glass smells just as delicious. Let's finish. All right, Michters, you've done it again. As this is my first taste, I am not going to give you a rating. Um, I will, however, give you two thumbs up. Before you go, I wanted to remind folks that these are single barrel products. So the barrel that I reviewed today is barrel 24. 24 stands for the year it was released. B, B stands for the month it was released. February, sorry, bottled, not released. And then a unique identifier follows. And mine is 0809. So there you have it. Quick take, hot take of Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. I hope you thought this was awesome. If you do, consider liking, subscribing, doing that thing that you do. Cheers until next time, my friends. Keep it amongst the whiskey.